something that is inspired by the green and gold which is the kind of colours of Australia. Interestingly enough our flag is not green and gold, our flag is red, white and blue, uh, but green and gold are the Aussie colours and uh, January 26th is Australia Day here which is the day we celebrate our, the birth of our nation which is not a hundred percent accurate, it's not actually the first day. There's a lot of controversy about this particular date, particularly at the moment in Australia. Um, there are some people who want to change the date. They want it to be considered a, a day of mourning instead of a day of celebration. I'm not one of those people. I think that we should uh, acknowledge the massive amount of uh, growth that the country has had over the last 200 odd years, which is how old we are. Um, yeah, but I will talk more about that while I'm doing my eye look. Um, so I'm going to be doing a green and gold eye look. I currently have eyebrows on and I have um, a bit of powder on my face. That's why I look really, really pale. Um, I haven't really put foundation on. I've put some concealer on. It's kind of hot here today. It is summer here in Australia. Um, if you can hear that noise in the background, it's probably the fan, which is like right there, because it's really hot. I'm probably going to sweat as well, and you'll see me be all sweaty, because it's kind of hot at the moment. And I'm sitting right in front of a window, so there's kind of like a bit of heat. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make it a little bit easier to see my eyes and get on with my eye look. Okay, so I am going to start with primer. Now... I don't know what people in other countries have heard about Australia and how it was started, but the uh, date that we celebrate Australia Day was the day, sort of, that the first um, settlers, if you want to call them that, uh, arrived in New South Wales, which is one of the eastern states of Australia. Um, now, the first people to come to Australia in that area were actually convicts. They were not free settlers. They were not people who actually wanted um, to be here. They were forced to be here. I'm just going to set that with some cream eyeshadow out of my uh, crown palette. Um, they were all convicts. Um, a lot of people think that they were mostly English people. Again, this is not entirely accurate. Um, a lot of the people who actually came out were actually Irish Catholics who refused to change their religion to become uh, Protestants or Anglicans as the, uh, the English wanted them to actually be. And so they were deported, effectively. They called it transportation um, to... Australia. A lot of the other people were um, poor people. Uh, England was facing a quite bad economic crisis at that particular point in time and a lot of the people were just very poor people who through no fault of their own had no money and no resources and um, they would steal bread and stuff to try to keep their families and themselves alive and they, I'm just using a torpy sort of colour to start a bit of a transition. Um, so they stole like loaves of bread and stuff, you know, kind of like Les Mis, a similar kind of thing. Uh, people stealing bread in order to survive and they found themselves being transported sent to Australia. Now what they actually did is they had run out of space in their jails in England so they had some old ships, some hulks sitting on the Thames and uh, petty type criminals, so people who had stolen bread or 
that kind of thing, they were put in these hulks instead of in the pris other prisons, which were kept for more serious criminals. And when they decided that they needed to do something about it, they thought, well, we'll just we'll send them to this new land that uh, Captain Cook has just discovered. And the fact is the English did not expect uh, the colony to be successful. In fact, they didn't want it to be successful. They actually wanted it to fail miserably. So what they did, instead of sending soldiers with them that were good soldiers, they sent criminals, like soldiers who should have been um, removed, basically, um, from service. They sent them over with the um, petty criminals and they uh, this is the citrus side of this Max Factor eye base. I'm just going to put this on my eyelids. Um, so they sent criminal soldiers with the petty criminals and I don't know whether they were hoping that they wouldn't survive the trip or whether they just wouldn't survive when they got to Australia but either way the English never actually intended for uh, New South Wales to be successful. They they didn't. They were trying to get rid of a problem, and um, yeah. So they sent a bunch of people to a country on the other side of the planet. Um, they went. F it was quite a long sea journey. We're not talking like a couple of weeks or anything. We're talking several months. Um, and when they arrived in Australia, it was January, and January in Australia is hot. <laughs> so it would have been quite unpleasant for those people um, to come to Australia at that time, because it was basically just hot. Um, so I'm going to go in with um, this super duper bright green on the lid. Um, yeah, so the English were hoping that this would be highly unsuccessful and that they would get rid of a problem. Uh, of course, that is not what happened. The Irish in particular had already been uh, surviving some quite difficult times and uh, yeah, a lot of tenacity in in the people who happened to be sent. These were people who were used to trying to survive with very little and uh, used to being treated terribly by the establishment. Um, and instead of going away and not surviving, uh, they managed to survive really quite well. Thank you very much. Uh, much to the chagrin of the English who then had a new colony on their hands that they had to um, deal with. Um, of course, it, you know, it's not all, you know, good news and everything. There were issues with the native Australians, the Aboriginals. Um, but it's very dangerous to... Um, I'm just going in with a combination of these two... these two darker greens. Um, it's always dangerous to judge the actions of the past based on where we are now. Um, it was a very different time. There were lots of very different things going on. On the whole, the, um, the people who came to Australia, they didn't want trouble with the Aboriginals. Um, and I'm sure the Aboriginals didn't really want trouble with these white people. But that is what happened, is, is there was trouble and there were a lot of deaths on both sides. Um, but then there was also those people who managed to form decent relationships with the Aboriginals. And we still have an Aboriginal population in Australia and you know the government has tried to make amends for many mistakes that were made over the years. It's, but I don't think we should like not celebrate our achievements as a country um, because of some things that didn't work the way that we now know is not really great. Um, yeah, so 
But there are a lot of people with lots of different opinions on it, and I'm not saying that anybody is right or wrong for their opinion on it. That's, you know, everybody is entitled to their opinion. Um, I just think that we should celebrate the fact that we actually managed to survive against the odds and become the multicultural country that we currently are. And that is what Australia Day is, you know, is meant for. I'm just going to use the darker screen I have just to try and deepen it up. It is very green. <laughs> it's a very green look. Not that there's anything wrong with that. These shadows are all very uh, shimmery, which is not necessarily the best for creating an eye look. Now, I don't have any yellow on, so I'm going to go into this super duper bright yellow. Um, and just going to put that on the lid. It's not really showing up as a yellow, unfortunately. I might mix it with some of the gold next to it and see what happens. That's a bit better. The gold's got a bit more punch to it. Yeah, so, you know, I, I believe that we should acknowledge what happened in the past, but look to the future and But that is a, a better way of going. I'm going to use that same combination just on the bottom. Let the, let blend it into the green that I put under the eye. So that is basically it. It's really quick look, not really faffing about and fussing about with it too much. So I'm going to put on some eyeliner and mascara and then I will be back. Alrighty, I am back. Um, I've put on some eyeliner. I put uh, liquid eyeliner on to suck up black liquid eyeliner and then I went over that with the green, dark green shadow that I used just to put a bit more green in there because you know you can't have too much green. Um, I have a little bit of blush and highlighter on, but not a whole lot because as I said, it's like really hot. Um, you can tell how hot it is by the rash I'm getting on my neck because I'm so hot. Um, the shirt I'm actually wearing, I thought I'd show you the shirt. It says all Australian girl because I am. Um, I'm like my, um, on my mum's side, the, um, my family came out, not in the first fleet, but in the second fleet they come out, I believe. Um, and, yeah, so, been in Australia for, my family's been in Australia for a really, really long time. Um, so, on my lips, what I'm going to do, because, you know, I'm just going to have fun with this. Um, I'm going to use, um, Little Denim Dress, which is blue. I don't actually have a green lipstick or yellow lipstick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on first and then I'm going to put yellow lipstick over the top of it, uh, yellow eyeshadow over it. Um, this is a NYX um, liquid suede, in case you're wondering. If you've seen my Instagram, you'll know that these are not transfer proof. <sighs> I kissed my um, my partner, and he ended up looking like a Smith.
Uh, sorry. <laughs> it was a great look. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go into the yellow shade that I used with my finger and just. Yep, that didn't work. I'm going to use a brush instead. I just got the lipstick in the eyeshadow. So there you go guys, this is my green and gold look for Australia Day. I will leave everyone else who is involved in this down below, so go and see them all and leave them a message and tell them that I sent you. Uh, to all my fellow Aussies, I hope you enjoy your day off for Australia Day. And, you know, um, Think about what it means to be an Australian in this day and age and, you know, and be kind, basically. Um, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the button down below, leave me a thumbs up if you like Get Readies with me, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!